Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jesse Steele from Steel Art Studios. Um, and today I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a quick rough draft of kind of how I get these sketches done that I've kind of been working with lately. Uh, so far I've been kind of working with these monsters. And uh, these monsters, I, I kind of want them to be like fearsome and, and scary. But at the same time, I want their eyes to be very soft. And I want them to be almost innocent looking like... You know, most of the time you see, like, creatures or, you know, scary monsters and things, and they're always looking so scary, but you never see any that are very innocent looking, so I just think that's a kind of a cool concept to add a little bit of depth with fear and, and being so soft. But, um, so let me go ahead and tell you guys what I'm doing right now. Right now I'm actually using a graphite uh, mechanical pencil, very simple. Um... I'm only going to use about two tools in this whole, two or three tools in this whole movie. I got a uh, kneaded er uh, eraser, which is the kind that's very, uh, it's almost like putty. And you can sp separate it, you can shape it to whatever, whatever way you want. You get it any like local uh, art stores or whatever. Uh, but right now I'm using the graphite pencil, and I have um, General's white chalk, uh, charcoal pencil. Also, and I always keep that sharp at all times. But the sharper your tools are, the sharper everything is. But um, right now I kind of just sketched it all out, simply just drawing a circle in the, in, the, uh, in the beginning. Around his ear right there, you can kind of see where I started the circle. Then from there I kind of ventured out and decided to add the horn and the eyes and then just kind of the, the silhouette of his face. But uh, what I usually do is I use the graphite pencil, just the graphite pencil. I don't really mess with char uh, charcoal as much as I used to. But with that, I uh, make sure you hit the darks first. and. Um, kind of use a uh, lighter lighter touch of the pencil to kind of create uh, the more medium um, tones you just got to kind of figure out where everything is going to go see like right around there where his ear is at I know that there's going to be some depth and I'm going to want to make it a little darker around the eyes the sockets and right there in the cheeks I kind of wanted to add a little bit of depth there but I didn't want to be too dark kind of like how I have with the eye sockets and the skull but around his ears, I definitely want that to be popping out. So what you always do is you always go darker when you want things to pop out. And uh, right there, I'm just kind of messing around with the ear. I'm cleaning it up, adding those darks right there on the, around the bottom. So you can see that it's got some depth, depth to it. Uh, let's see. But um, most of the time, guys, I'm just kind of just freehanding it, just having fun, enjoying what I'm doing. Completely relaxed. In fact, I think I was watching Kubo with my wife. <laughs> on Netflix, and I was just chilling. I, uh, sometimes I listen to music too. You gotta get yourself on the vibe, whichever way it works for you guys. But um, yeah. So I'm over here just kind of like making sure all the darks are darks, and going back over where the mouthpiece is right there. It see see those uh the darker lines underneath there. It kind of adds that extra dimension that it's got some um it's almost raised or you know like how your lips are, or just. You know, if you were to draw like a mushroom or something like that, the top of the mushroom, you can add some dimension to it to make it give it that roundness to it. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the horn right there, too. And see how it's shiny? Usually when you use graphite, that's how you can always tell that someone's using graphite because it gets a little shiny. The darker you go, the more shiny. Um, and there I am again, just trying to add some more darks to it, making sure the darks are underneath the horn. Uh, just kind of completely sketching it out, just very lightly. Everything is very lightly and very messy. If any, if you notice, I don't even really ever go back with the eraser tool with that mechanical pencil, at least. But I will go back later on. You'll see that I use the kneaded uh, the kneaded eraser, and I go ahead and uh, I just kind of blot it out, just make it really flat, and just kind of like tap on the some of the darker lines. Cause see, I'm going dark already. I'm uh, going dark everywhere right now. And then I go back and I, I got it light. And then if you really, since I'm using tone tan paper, uh, you really want to make sure that that tone tan paper is actually a tool in itself. So right now I'm going to hit the highlights first. But you want to always go back with that kneaded eraser, eraser to make sure that you come back and clean it up. And you can actually see the tone paper through your creature so that it's almost like a, you're putting skin on your creature. It's almost like working backwards, but not really. So there I am using the highlights, and you don't you don't ever want to go too much with the highlights. You just want to take it really, really slow, very patient. I have this thing sped up like times three. I think it took me about 26 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. 
But there I am, in whatever way you, with the shape of whatever you're going through to add that dimension, you want to complete that shape with that highlighted area. See how I'm kind of swooping it in, in an, uh, almost an arcing motion? Whatever way that particular body part or muscle tone is, that's the way you want to always want to use your, your tool. We use it very sparingly. If you, Later on, like I said before, I go back and I use that kneaded eraser and I'll go ahead and clean up all that extra white and extra dark that I added to it. But right now I'm kind of setting the tones and making things pop where I want them to. And I also use a uh, white gel pen, which I'm using right there. And I'm using that super sparingly because you already got the white with the charcoal, the white charcoal. So you definitely don't want to use too much of that pen because that pen, wherever you leave that mark, it will not move no matter what. So make sure you always add it to little special little areas just to add just that little bit of shimmer and a little goes a long way. I made that mistake many many times so this is just speaking out of experience and just save you guys time use white very sparingly but just enough to add the effect so here i am going ahead and uh doing the back of this beast right now this creature with the white and i'm also going around with the, the tone of what he is uh, like around the neck and stuff just kind of adding that dimension and that's me with the kneaded erase and if you notice see how i'm taking away those dark spots and i'm also taking away a little bit of the white spots letting that tone tan paper kind of set in and adding that extra dimension that it's popping out of the paper so definitely just kind of blot it out very very lightly very very lightly like just around the sharp corners or wherever you see fit to make it look uh more uh you know concept artish for uh you know, like working with like Blizzard Entertainment or uh, just any, pretty much any video game or mobile phone. But anyway, this is the finished project and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it.